Thinking about making your business official? When it comes to forming a limited liability company in Minnesota, there are a few items that should be on your checklist, and LegalZoom can help you with just about all of them. First, you'll want to choose a name for your business. This may seem obvious, but there's more to it than just that. We recommend that you search the Minnesota Secretary of State's website to ensure that your business name isn't already in use for an existing business within the state. If you aren't ready to register your LLC, but are concerned that your business name might be taken by someone else, you can reserve it for up to 12 months in Minnesota. You will also have the option to renew the reservation for additional 12-month periods. This can be done by paying a fee and submitting paperwork to the Secretary of State. Second, you'll choose a registered agent, otherwise known as an RA. Your RA is the person or entity that receives official legal documents and notices on behalf of your business. When choosing an RA, be sure to choose one available during regular business hours that also has an address within the state. In Minnesota, you are legally required to have an office address for your registered agent, not just a P.O. box. Third, you'll need to file some information about your LLC. This information is called your Articles of Organization and is filed with the Minnesota Secretary of State. This filing includes business basics like your LLC's name and address. And once your filing is approved, your LLC is registered as an official business. The next item on your checklist should be to prepare an operating agreement. This is a document that outlines the way you'll run your LLC. While not required in your state, an operating agreement can be very helpful if disputes or litigation arise. Once that's drafted, it's time to get your employer identification number, or EIN for short. Your EIN is sort of like your social security number for your business, and it's necessary for banking, taxes, and even hiring employees. You should also note that this is sometimes referred to as your federal tax ID number. You should also note that Minnesota requires LLCs to obtain a state tax ID number through the Minnesota Department of Revenue. Finally, you should apply for any specific permits or licenses that your business may need like a zoning permit or a liquor license. Of course, there could be more to forming an LLC than just these few steps. That's where LegalZoom comes in. Once you're ready to start your business, we'll be there to help.